we are still doing ICT. I am profoundly privileged to welcome you in this lesson. I am teacher Emmanuel. Primary 5 pupils, this is the second lesson title. Examples of data and memories. When it comes to data and memories, we have two main examples. Internal storage and external storage. Let's start with internal storage. The internal storage are the storage or memories found inside the computer. The journal is an example of internal storage of X or laptop. There are two types of memories in the computer. These are the computer memory, RAM and ROM, and the hard disk. Let's start by talking about hard disk. The hard disk is also known as hard drive. The hard disk is the storage device found inside all of the computers. The hard disk is mostly used to store computer programs. Indeed, the hard disk has a large memory space. The write activity automatically saves your work to the journal. The journal space <coughs> is the hard disk. Look at this picture. This one symbolizes the hard disk, which is inside all the computers. When you try saving a document in write activity, they ask you whether you want to save it in rich text format, hypertext, or plain text. The documents are normally saved in ODT file format. ODT is open document format. There are times when you may prefer to save your document in another format other than the ODT format. To do this, you use the keep button as you are seeing it on this side. The keep button lets you save a copy of your document in rich text, LTF, hypertext, HTML, or plain text, TXT. This is possible in journal. Now let's talk about ROM and LAM. ROM stands for read-only memory. It only allows reading of its content. The user cannot change the content on it. This type of memory is a permanent storage. When the power goes off, data written on it is not lost. This memory is therefore called nanovolatile. The ROM contains data that is used when starting a computer, checking the ROM, and when loading other computer programs. Look at the ROM chip here aside. Moreover, let's talk about the ROM. ROM stands for Random access memory. It is a temporal memory. Most computers do not store what you have worked on automatically. When power goes off suddenly, <coughs> what you have been working on disappears. This happens because the data is stored on the memory temporarily. And when power is on, the memory is said to be volatile. Look at the RAM chip here aside. What is the role of temporal memory? The temporal memory, like LAM, stores instructions and data needed to complete tasks or being worked on tasks. The temporal memory also enables computer users to switch between several activities. Another example of data and memory is external storage. The external storage refer to devices that are not permanently fixed on or in a computer. These devices are used to store information permanently. These devices include memory cards, flash disks, CDs, 
DVDs and external hard drives. Let's start by talking about memory card. A memory card is also known as SD card or flash card. It is an electronic device used for storing digital information. Look at the pictures. Furthermore, let's talk about flash disk. A flash disk is also known as USB flash drive. It is connected to the XO laptop through a USB port. Data can be easily saved on it and easily deleted from it. Look at the pictures. In addition, let's describe CD and DVD. CD in full means compact disc, while a DVD in full means digital video disc. CD and DVDs are inserted in the CD reader in order to access stored information. These pictures represent CD and DVDs. Look at the CD reader. It is connected to the XO laptop and it is where the CD or DVD is inserted such that you can access the information on it. The information on the CD ALA is read only. You cannot change the content. When I say that the information on CD ALA is read only, this means that you cannot add more data on a CD or DVD that already has data on it. Information on CD ALA W is read and write. Next, let's talk about external hard disk. This is also known as external hard drive. It is a portable storage device. It has a very large storage space that is similar to that found on the hard drive or hard disks of the computers. Here you are seeing that the external hard disk is connected to X or laptop such that you can access the data on it or you can even save more on it. This storage device is connected onto the computer by a cable. 